The next thing I want to talk about is cause and effect. Isaac Newton came up with this concept that everything is causal. So I'm looking at what's causing this big oil spill in the bigger picture. When I looked at the abusive experiences that I experienced there were a lot of causes and if you get trapped up in one aspect oh this is causing it you know then what's causing that explanation so it, it's constantly looking at the bigger picture and know that there's even a bigger picture which is inside another bigger picture which is inside even a bigger picture so it's um, really looking at what's causing everything. Now, one of my observations is we turn into what we hate the most. We are like little tape recorders and we're holographic tape recorders. And what grabs our focus is exactly what we appear to turn into and what our focus is is on all of our hates we, we tend to focus more on the things we hate and we don't tend to focus on the things that we happen to love and you can use me as an example of how I turn into what I hate most and, and I mean just by this YouTube channel you can see it 100% that I've turned into everything that I hate and I'm only saying this to kind of get you to reflect on yourselves are you turning into what you hate and what I hate are leaders what I hate are these people that say they know it all what I hate are these people that write books saying they know it all and yet by me just having a YouTube channel says I think I know what's going on here listen to me <laughs> so in actual and if you look at the bigger picture I right, causal if I keep doing what I'm doing if I end up creating the career of sharing the information that I've gathered that has the potential to make me a leader that has the potential to say hey that girl's making a little bit of sense I'm gonna listen to what she's got to say so I'm actually turning into exactly what I hate most so it's um, really really interesting <laughs> You really have to constantly reflect on yourself and reflect on what it is you hate. Now, one thing that I've noticed and tried to pay attention to is a flock of birds. You can see a lot of examples in nature, and a lot of nature doesn't make any sense to me as well. So it's I'm going to look at nature through the aspects of what I love and not look at nature in all of the ways that I hate. If you look at wolves, um, there's a dominant wolf that's the leader of the pack. You know, that I tend to think that humanity is living by that example when there's also an example in nature of birds and if you observe them flying there always seems to be one bird leading all of the other birds and they're all guided in the direction of that one bird but if you really observe a flock of birds the guy at the back is always constantly replacing the bird that's at the front and my observation too is a lot of these books that we read a lot of these motivational speakers a lot of these leaders parts of what they're saying is true 
but they contradict themselves all the time. So it seems like um, not one person is ever going to know all of the answers, but each one of us holds a key to all of those answers. So I'm not suggesting anybody listen to what I've got to say. Just listen to part of what I've got to say and see if anything I say is making any sense to you. And at the same time, I'm being open to hearing what other people have to say, knowing that they're not going to have all of the answers. They're only going to have a key to that answer. So it seems like, I guess the message that I'm saying is that we definitely have to be open to hearing other perspectives and no parts of, of these perspectives are going to be right and part of these perspectives are going to be wrong and listen to yourself and see in the bigger picture how that cause will affect the whole and that's where where I'm kind of looking at is in the bigger picture of everything when I look at what makes sense to me I always look at how is that going to affect the whole and if it affects one person one person experiences the harm then it's a contradiction I only tend to follow the direction, follow the advice, if it's a direction where all can benefit. It, we are oneness. One person affects another person, and you know, so so we all have to be with it on the same page. And I'm pretty sure every one of us wants to be treated right, be treated with respect, be treated with love. Every one of us wants to experience good health. Um, every one of us wants to live the good life. So who's to say that my opinions, my one opinion is the one thing that you should all listen to if it does harm to even one person. So that's kind of the road I'm, I'm on when I look at the bigger picture of cause and effect is I listen to um, the advice and opinions that if you see, if I follow that advice, how will it affect the whole? Will one person be harmed by that? If the advice appears to not affect the whole in a negative way, then I tend to think there's some truth in there. If there's one rule, one belief, one aspect of the advice that tends to do harm to even one person, then I know it's a contradiction to the direction I want to believe in. I believe every single one of us are here for a purpose. Every one of us are God's children. And I don't believe that a God that created children would want to see any of them killed. I mean, as a parent that has four children, I don't, it would, it would tear me apart to see one of my children harmed by the way society lives their life. So I'm pretty sure God would be equally upset if one of his children are killing another one of his children. It's, it's like watching your children fight. That would be upsetting to God. So if you're religious and believe in God, then why not honor God's children and treat all of child, God's children with respect and love, forgiveness, understanding, and try and find that path where all benefit so that we are giving God the loving experience that I'm pretty sure that he wants all of us to have. Just my opinion. Um, don't follow me. <laughs> Just kind of question yourself. Does that make any sense to you? Peace out.